folks, this is Finland Farm, and I wanted to do a video today on how bad of a job I did propagating or attempting to propagate strawberry plants. Um, we had some strawberry plants at our last house in the suburbs. They were growing in this uh, half barrel, um, I think it's a whiskey barrel or a wine barrel, one of those. Anyway, it was growing, and there were some runners hanging off. And in order to um, propagate more strawberries, because everybody loves strawberries and I want I want more strawberries, uh, I just grabbed a few of those runners and I clipped them off and I put them in these <clears throat> hanging baskets that we've had. And I put uh, good soil in there, I put good compost in there, I watered it. Um, I tried not to put the uh, the crowns of the strawberries too deep, but it seems like it seems like it didn't take. Take a look. You see how brown and ugly this is? Now there's still some green there, so I'm really going to try to be careful and hope um, keep it there now this one's still a little bit of green but this one here is just turning brown and this one here just looks like it just died completely and I barely put it in there and as I understand you only supposed to put uh, strawberries just barely in there and they'll do uh, and they'll root down and continue to thrive but unfortunately it just looks like I failed I don't know if I did it uh, too deep I don't know if I overwatered because I did water them um, pretty well the first couple of days um, and I kept them in the shade here so that uh, it's still there's still light, but you know, no direct sunshine. And um, I don't want to stress them out early. So I put them in here and then unfortunately they're just not doing too well. This one here might survive and I still see some green. So I'm gonna keep watch. I'll try not to cover up the ground. I'll try to keep the crown right there resting on the ground, but just a little bit pushed in. Hopefully it'll root down there. So this so far seems to be a failure. I'm gonna give it a few more days and uh, let's see what happens. Um, let me show you something else. Hang on. Okay, this is my second attempt. I'm going to try it this way here. And uh, right now, I got my goats over there. You might hear them in the background. Meh! <laughs> That's Starsky and Hutch. Uh, Hutch is on the left. Starsky's on the right. Meh! <laughs> How you doing today? Okay, it's all liquor legs. Okay. All right. This is the uh, half barrel I was talking about with the uh, strawberries. And you can see there's probably there's a few runners. I might get one more runner out of there. This one looks like it's going to be a runner. Over here. So this is, they're doing really well in here. Now, I discovered another runner the other day. And instead of just cutting it here and putting it in another plant, I'm going to see if I can just get it to root. I went and got a cup, put some um, compost in there. And I'm putting it in there. And I'm trying to get it to just push in just a little bit and rest on the ground. Ugh. Probably because the angle is just going to keep popping off. Oh, how embarrassing. Okay. All right. So I keep that moist, but not too wet. And I'm going to try it that way. I, and hopefully this will do a better job of propagating. Uh, it still stays connected to the, I guess you can say, the mother plant. Um, and hopefully it will still... Uh, um, pull nutrients from the mother plant and, and develop and hopefully it'll uh, root in here and then once it gets uh, a good root going on then I can just clip it and transplant it elsewhere. See it's it's starting to overgrow this barrel here and I like to actually just uh, start another place now that we have a, a few more square feet of yard. I like to do uh, uh, spread out my strawberry bed. I, I did have a bigger one at the, uh, the suburb home. And unfortunately, you know, because my garden just kept growing, we outgrew our backyard, but I had a bigger bed in that backyard there. I'm gonna start to develop. I pulled, uh, I saved a few of those strawberry plants, and now I'd like to develop a, a bigger strawberry bed here, uh, now that we have a, a lot more space. Okay. And while I'm at it, these are my trees I rescued from the goats. In another video when I was introducing the goats, I was talking about the trees that I tried to rescue and the goats discovered them and discovered that they loved the taste of these leaves. I got them in here, got them surrounded by this wire, this reinforcement wire that they use in concrete. I had a big strand of it and it's about 20 feet. Pop it up into a big circle and it, and it kind of develops, it, it, it wants to shut so it develops its own little gate. I'll just have to pull it apart. And this is the other tree. Yeah, something funny about this tree right here. I had it planted. This is a, I think it's a honey crisp. Yes, a honey crisp. I had it planted in the uh, field, and unfortunately, 
a lot of my trees out there just started dying for various reasons. I had bacteria, could have been wind, could have been uh, deer, uh, bugs, all kinds of reasons. Well, the grass grew up, and, and the other day, you know, a couple of weeks ago, a few weeks ago, I was out there mowing, and I discovered one of my trees that I had completely forgotten about. It was right here. The, this tree it was out there in the field, and I was surrounded by grass. I just lost sight of it, completely forgot about it, but when I was mowing, I discovered it. And so I, I, I was like, oh, great, you know, and it was perfect. All the leaves were perfect. There was just great leaves going up and down, and, and it was just beautiful. In contrast to my other trees. So I thought I was doing the best thing by removing all the grass away from it, opening it up, because it was completely just kind of blocked by sunshine, and uh, it was just kind of overgrown with weeds. And unfortunately, when I did that, a couple of weeks, uh, a couple of days later, I went out there and looked, and the leaves were gone most of the leaves were gone and then apparently it looks like just deer are just coming up and eating it so well i yanked it out of the ground i put it in a bucket put a lot of compost in there put some good soil in there so i know that the soil is good and what few leaves it had i really wanted to protect and unfortunately i left it out and the goats just went straight for it so that's why i got this up here now so that when i let the goats out and let them run around and we play with them um, they these trees here will stay protected and I just keep it watered I keep it monitored uh, the soil I watered it this morning it's doing pretty well I need to put some uh, mulch on top of that to keep the moisture in it's, it's starting to be a hot day today so I'm trying to rescue the trees and this is something really neat right here I thought I lost this blueberry plant but take a look here I, I yanked it out of its ground out of the ground where it was at and because it just looked dead and I said well you know what I got Plenty of these buckets here, cat litter buckets are great. Comes with free cat litter. Anyway, I put it in here and I watered it and I watered it and watered it. I must have been doing it for three weeks and I was just about ready to give up, but then I see something right here. See that? That's new life. That's new hope. And this one here is starting to turn green too, so I think there's hope for this one. So this might be dead here. I'm gonna keep watching it. Uh, I might have to prune some of these branches for the winter comes, but I'm gonna keep watching it because I really want my blueberries to come back. And this one here almost died too. And, and, um, but it had a lot of green leaves left, so I put it in here. And that's doing really well. And this is my spearmint. Yes, can I help you? <laughs> Bumped into the fence, I heard him. Okay, um, this is my spearmint. And they were just about dead and I, I neglected it. It was in bad soil, so I, pulled it out I gotta trim this dead parts back but I put good soil compost is a miracle you put good compost on it it's gonna come back to life and this is a red maple that I'm trying to keep alive the goats ate all the leaves off of it so anyway that's just the update um, I'm rescuing this one here too this was another um, this is a mint plant or maybe it's spearmint and that's mint I don't know anyway I'm trying to rescue it too and I got good compost in there and it's just really thriving I mean within a week it, it's probably grown three or four inches at least it's, it's doing really well so anyway that's the video update for today from Finland Farm um, tune back in hope you guys having a great day